So the ascent, the ascent trial is a, a phase three study where uh, patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia in the relapsed refractory setting has been randomized to either a calabrutinib monotherapy, continuous therapy, or a physician choice between bendamastin plus rituximab or idelalizib plus rituximab. 155 patients were randomized to a calabrutinib uh, monotherapy. 155 patients were randomized to the physician choice, but the vast majority, 119, have been uh, have chosen to be treated with idelalizib plus rituximab, making this study the first and probably the only one comparing a BTK to a PIT kinase uh, uh, inhibitor. Uh, at ASH, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Wojtek Jurczak uh, presented the three-year follow-up of the uh, ASCEND study, uh, where indeed we confirmed the long-term benefit in terms of PFS, progression-free survival, for patients who have been treated with acalabrutinib. In particular, 63% of the patients treated with acalabrutinib were free of progression or death after three, year, three years of follow-up, while instead the patients who have been treated in the physician uh, choice arm, only 21% of them were free of progression, and in particular, 25% uh, if treated with idelalizib plus rituximab, and 9% if treated with bendamastin plus rituximab. This difference in PFS was probably also uh, due to the fact that uh, either a patient who received idelalizib plus rituximab more frequently discontinued the, the drug because of adverse events, and therefore they could not benefit in the long run of the efficacy of the drug. So with this uh, uh, trial then, which is a, a seminar trial, as we, we, it has been utilized for the approval of the drug worldwide, um, also, in the relapse uh, refractory setting, we indicate that the, the treatment, the, the continuous treatment with the BTK inhibitor like a calabrutinib it is very effective also in the long term and uh, also very safe. And indeed, uh, again, as in many other trials, uh, a calabrutinib showed low frequency of atrial fibrillation, low frequency of hypertension, and low frequency of uh, minor bleedings.